Hey guys, Hayden here again from Alarm System Store. And today, if you can't tell, we're gonna be taking a look at the Alarm.com CSVR local display. Um, so as you can see, basically I just got the local display plugged in and this is exactly what you're gonna see whenever you first get signed or whenever you get it connected. And basically it's just gonna bring up um, either a single cam or uh, there is a two by two, a three by three and a four by four grid option where it'll display all of the cameras that you have on the account. So right now I just have the one. Um, if you did see our enrollment video, which is the last one I did, should be out basically the week prior to this video airing. Um, essentially, you'll know that during the enrollment process, there is a spot where it asks you to plug in a local display password. Now, you don't have to plug that in just to see live footage like we're looking at here. But if you come up here to the top right, there is an orange login button. So if you click on that, it's gonna bring you to the password page for your CSVR. And now, um, I didn't create a password whenever uh, we enrolled the CSVR. So I'm gonna jump over to the computer real quick. We're gonna create a password and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'll run you through how to set up a password for your SVR real quick. Um, so just open up your alarm.com account here and then click video here on the left. And then at the top, uh, click settings in the black area. And then you'll need to come down to local display. So whenever you enroll the SVR, it does ask you if you wanna create one of these. Um, if you select the no option like I did, uh, basically it just gives you a password, but that's long and hard to remember. So basically all we're gonna do is type in, um, I'm just gonna make ours alarm system store and then save it. Oh, it needs a number, so alarm system store one. So basically, once that is saved, anytime I go to hook up a local display to the SVR, I use that password, alarm system store one. So we'll jump back over to the local display and we'll plug that in and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so now that we have a password created, that's not, you know, a big jumble of letters. Uh, basically, you just come in here and you plug that same password in and that's gonna allow you to log in to your local display setup. And by default, it doesn't really look like it changes anything. Um, you're still just looking at live view for your cameras. But up here at the top left, you'll notice there is now a search button next to the live button. So if you just want to see live footage while logged in, that's fine. Uh, but if you need to search for specific footage, you can come into the search option and that's going to bring up a list of your cameras over here on the left side. So whenever you click one of these cameras, it basically attaches it at a uh, still image to one of these four. Um, you actually can attach up to four of the same camera. I don't know why you would want to do that, but if you do, uh, you're more than welcome to. Um, you can move these around as well. So if you do have four cameras that you're trying to search through for a specific event or whatever the case might be, um, you can come in here and set those up so that you can view all four simultaneously while you're scrolling the footage. So now that we have the cameras attached here, basically you can actually just scroll through. Um, you can search by frame or you can just hit the play button and it just basically plays. And as you can see, it's just showing whatever is recorded. Um, unfortunately, you don't actually get much of a timeline, but you do get a time and a date down here at the bottom right. So it might still be easier for a lot of you to uh, actually use the timeline that is on the alarm.com portal than it is to use the local display. Um, the local display would just be for anybody that's on site that like, you know, guards or whatever the case might be, where you just want a quick access so you can see the live footage or if you catch something happening, you can just search back so that you can um, basically export that video. And on exporting video, under the search section here, as long as you have cameras pulled up, you can come down here to export. And basically, it's gonna ask you if you wanna take a video clip, a snapshot, or if you wanna archive the footage. So you can basically, um, there is a USB 3 port here on the front, so you can hook up a, a flash drive, you can hook up a, a secondary a hard drive, SSD, whatever you want. And basically it allows you to export the video to that external drive so that you can save it, or if you need to you know, use it for a police report or whatever the case might be, that is how you get it off of the SVR. And now, 
Um, really, that's all there is to the local um, display for the alarm.com setup. It's not super in-depth. It's not um, as in-depth as a normal NVR would be because NVRs are um, just network recorders, so they are pretty much all in one units. It doesn't actually connect to a service. Um, some of them do have apps and stuff like that, but that's not really what they're for. Um, this one, because it is a commercial stream video recorder for alarm.com, all of the setup, all the settings, and all that are controlled via the alarm.com interface. So anytime you do need to um, adjust settings or change that password or whatever the case might be, you do have to go into your alarm.com account. That way you can change all of that. That's really all there is to this video. I just wanted to give a quick overview of the local display. So um, if you guys are interested in this, by all means, uh, check out the CSVRs we have on our website. This one right here is the ADC uh, CSVR 2000P, and I'm using a wireless Wi-Fi camera, uh, which is sitting right next to me. Um, so it is good for Wi-Fi cameras as well as hardwired cameras, whatever you guys want to use. But otherwise, that's going to do it for me. So if you guys are on YouTube, if you don't mind, leave a like and subscribe. And if you're on our website, alarmsystemstore.com, uh, give us a shout if you have any questions. But otherwise, I hope you guys find what you're looking for. And I will catch you on the next one.